some patriots and lovers watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family yeah. men and no mates of their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. Okay. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard gobbies up north. It's a metaphor, you um, see. What? I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there. All those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. Um, okay. We've got a special guest that I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, oh, wait, Charles. How in the world can you make it? Bit of salt. Do we get any salt here? Um, guy, why are you up there? Stay right there. Okay. First of all, we're gonna put this pan up because we're done with it. So, um, yeah, where's the condiments? The condiments drawer. Um, salt. A little bit of salt. How do you, how do you salt it? <laughs> yep, that's how you salt it all. Oh man. Now we're gonna 
explodes this. Uh, don't, don't worry about the salt. It's a, we don't need salt. So, let's, get, let's get a fork. And uh, we'll close the door. Close it. Oh. Two second roll. Alright, guys. Let's um, fork it. Francis, I made your favorite. Meatloaf sandwich Mom, with- Mom, I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Are you really? tired of feeling taken for granted? Yes. You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos at the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? No. Mm. Never. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. <sighs> what? Yes, this truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happy? We'll be back with more tales from all around the greatest country on earth after these messages. Wow. <laughs> books on the shelf. We gotta put the books on the shelf. Put the books on the shelf. Where's the shelf? I'll put them all on the shelf. Okay. Where's the bookshelf at? Um, always up here. Grr. Huh? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Yeah. Ugh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. Papers on the table. Put the papers on the table. Ten by the Francis door. Oh, that's sorry, guys. I cannot read. <laughs> I'm not going here. Shelf's at anymore. Oh, wait. Can you just open these? Let's not buy the door, first of all. Door right there. Okay. First of all, let's uh, put this down here real quick. Okay. 
cases. Okay, um, pencils. Oh, pencils all the way over here, that's the thing. Pencil right here. Let's go. Whoa, I want this way down. Eh? Now, wait, is this it? No, it's not. So I'll put them right here. You gotta be kidding me. I literally would have thought it was just. I thought there was. Oh my gosh, man, I am so dumb. Is that crouch? Oh, yes, I can crouch. These are cars on the water. There it is. It's a car. Um, it's hard being a Karen. Um, Excuse me? What did I just do? <laughs> Put it right there, and um, yippee -ay. And then we're gonna put another one right down here, cause that's just right there. Yay, we did it. Oh, put the tin by his door, okay. Right there. Wow. That took me a little bit longer than I thought it would be. Okay. Alright, set dinner. Let me set up the table. Alright, cups and plates. Oops, um, luckily these aren't, uh, breakable. Wait, I... Is that really it? Is that all we're getting? Yeah, I guess that's all we're getting. Okay, um, sorry guys, I, I know that hurts all the ears. Let's, uh, put some plate. That's why men hate our lives. <laughs> All right, I want to get the forks. Okay, let's uh close this up. By the way, don't make it make a slob of ourselves.
Whoa, um, I didn't do that. Oh, to use. Q to use it, okay. Uh, oh, space to jump. I can jump. Dinner's ready! There we go. Yep. Sure! Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. Yep. And what a wonderful day it was! And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be yep. sure to report any strange happenings to... I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Alright. We gotta do this again. Okay, uh, you know what? We're, 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 um... Hold up. It's right there. Give me some of them eggs. What? If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Yeah. Or I would. 
If you didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. Yeah. Floor bacon for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night? That certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. In other news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Bacon. Poor bacon. Francis, don't forget your lunch. Next time, can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... <sighs> I never do. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprises' new vacuum cleaner. With brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long, or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know if I'd say extraordinaire. I just know what I'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. Sure. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Susan Jones? All right. That's definitely not normal. Now, Susan, you're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know if I can Any say second now, Charles from KMCR Radio is going to knock on the door and tell when me this is all a weird prank show segment. Struggle and Susan more. will be there, too. Sure, Susan.
how it works here. Dinner's ready. In a minute. In a minute. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange. And don't forget... What? <laughs> I'm gonna put a fork in my eye if I have to do this all over again. Well, I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon, though I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in American paradise, the greatest country on earth. Don't forget, everything's completely fine. No, it's Today's not. program is brought to you by And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Excuse me. Um Where'd it go? What's wrong, dude? Uh... Right there. Where'd they go? Where'd my eggs go? Come back here. Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. Oh, man. Something's not right. Vacuum the grime. Gotta vacuum the grime. I don't know what grime we have. Gotta vacuum the grime. Vacuum the grime. Buy a Hurston vacuum, they said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Oh, ceiling. I know that was it. That's 
crazy. That's crazy. Grime was on the ceiling. Oh, yes! Being Magazine is here! Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Mail order. Let's go. Um. Alright, then wait. Right click while holding the brochure. Wait, where is it? Oh, is it right here? Yeah. Silver bullets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. Drop it right there, and the mail slot. There we go. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Okay. This is getting weird. Um. Hey, where's the fork at? Okay. My cup at. Oh. Oh, there's cups right there. Ready. Nobody's gonna say none. In a minute. In a minute. Oh my. I should start cooking for the entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a yes or a no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Good evening, listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all? For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate to make sure it isn't something else. Okay. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. Really? <laughs> Oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. Okay. Was that it, or how many? Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. 
breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Eat the sun? Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Dude, how many... Where's the, where's the play at? We need a play. The play. Just don't. Okay. Right there. Please, it's not floating away. Making strips. Another baking strip. To the dough. Okay. salt and pepper. Ah, uh, come on. Very finicky. I don't like that part. Get out of here. This is just a mom simulator. Over there. Like, are you like it's like Half-Life Simulator 101? Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I could drive you. Timmy's mom says that woman shouldn't drive. Well then. Bye, honey. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Okay. Guess what? We ain't gonna do that one yet. Ooh, is this the Cthulhu? Oh, that's the Cthulhu book. Okay, um, one minute. One minute, buddy. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna go... Oh, I'm stupid. I'm the wrong way. Wait, do I have to? Do I have to do it? Oh boy, from Susan. What did she have to say this time? Yeah. I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought there's a gal who has elder demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? <laughs> Move to somewhere else. Throw it in the trash. Where's the vacuum at? Vacuum has appeared. Is that a note? Click right while holding to use an item. Oh wait, is this it? This is a really interesting game. I actually really like it. Okay. Yeah. That's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? Yes, you do. Throw a pencil at the. Okay. It means so 
much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked, just for you. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too. water to all of you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh wait. Is that right there? Alright, let's go with this in there, bad boy. And voila. That killed me. <laughs> Where's the knife at? Where is the knife? Oh, you right there? That's nice. Oh, come on. Dinner's ready! I'm working on my novel. Of course you are. I'm sorting my training cards! Of course you are. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Yes. Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Yes. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. Wow. And five down is Cthulhu for Tarnum Reader. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlier. So close. Oh, man. How long does this game go? <laughs> I've been... Oh, it's been almost like 50 minutes. You know what? <clears throat> okay, guys. We're going to leave it here. Um, I actually do like this game. I might actually play more of it. Um, thought it would be fun. It actually is. So, um, yeah, if y'all like this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you.